Hey guys and girls, welcome back to your ninth HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial by ifactioner.com and we are making a full functional website, a static website using HTML5, new tags and CSS3 uh, selectors and properties. So now we would be discussing about uh, how to uh, style mm, our section and articles. Right now our page looks like something like this and we would like our page to look like this. And uh, for that I would go to my template.html file and uh, I will give an ID to my section so because it's the main section I give it an ID of main section and I would be using a class for uh, my articles because there would be one more than one articles on my page therefore I'm not using a, an ID an ID is only used to refer to a single selector or single HTML element but because I, I'm, I would be want to apply the settings to more than one articles therefore I would be using a class I would assign this article to the class of uh, main underscore RT curls and I would just copy this code and paste uh, at, uh, in, uh, in the other article. So now I have assigned both of these articles to the class of main articles. I save my page and then I go to ifectner.css file and I scroll down and then because right now I am using uh, I want to refer to my section selection no sorry it's section and its ID it says main underscore section so I refer to main underscore section and I say that it should float towards left and right now as uh, you can see that the width of our left hand side is 240 pixels and the total width of our main content or the page center division is 960 pixels so that means that we can still use 960 minus 240 pixels and 960 minus 240 pixels is equal to 720 pixels so now I have uh, referred to my section and uh, after that I refer to my class and to refer to my class I would use dot and my class name that is main underscore section dot main articles mm. and I would uh, like to float them towards the left and uh, now uh, I would like to give a padding uh, because if you see then there is the padding there is a space between the two articles so I say that the padding should be 10 pixels from top, right, bottom and left and uh, the padding should be 10 pixels and I also want to give uh, the border and uh, I say that uh, the border should be solid black and should be 2 pixels 
wide so I see that the border is two pixel and it should be solid and it should be black and to the width of my article should be 960 minus 240 is 720 and because I'm using the padding on both sides so uh, for one article it is 10 pixel plus 10 pixel which is equal to 20 pixels and for the other article 10 pixel plus 10 pixel which is equal to 20 pixels so I have right now 720 minus 40 680 pixels left and I divide it by 2 because I have got 2 articles and I have I'm left with a space of 340 pixels for each article and to be on the safer side I just assign it 360 uh, 30 pixels wide and uh, the height should be of each article should be around 150 pixels so that is how you calculate uh, the size of your articles and uh, the left hand side so you, you you can use the calculator to do that and I save my articles now uh, this ifactner.css file I go to template.html file and launch it in Chrome via Notepad++ so now it is being loaded and now we have got as uh, the articles like this but it shouldn't be like this so let me check that the class is this the main articles and these should float towards left which should be 330 pixels and height should be 100 and sorry 50 pixels so I'm always missing px uh, scale and then I, now I refresh it but there's some problem so I think I, I just need to change this width and I refresh my file no let me reduce it to 300 pixels and refresh it so there's some problem guys there's some problem there's some problem and that problem might be that I haven't given the width for my section I give the width and then go and refresh it and there is still some problem so so it is not showing it right and I have just find, uh, found out that I had made a mistake that uh, in, in, in uh, over here in uh, template.html file I haven't closed it right so it should be article and it should close like this and similarly this article should close like this so I'm sorry about it and I haven't closed the section also so it should close like this slash section I save my file and go to my file uh, uh, browser and refresh it and now you can see that we have got our section uh, uh, our uh, articles in front of each other and uh, one more thing I would like to do is to go into my ifactner.css file and give the background color of my section to white and that is it and I refresh my page and it looks something like it but there's a problem that my footer is uh, along with my uh, sections and articles and I need it to be at the bottom of the page 
so what I would I do is uh, I go to template.html file and give my footer an ID of page underscore footer and save my page go to ifactner.css file and I say that select page underscore footer and property uh, clear the floating from both sides and its background color should be gray I save my file and then I go to my browser and refresh it and look at my footer now it is gray in color but the problem is that uh, my page background color is also gray so I don't need my page background color to be gray anymore because uh, according to the template it should be white I just delete the page background property so it would be the default property and now I want this copyright by Ifectner message to be center aligned to do that I just uh, go to the bottom of my page footer properties and I say that the text align of page footer should be center. I save my page and refresh it in my browser and now we have got a page something like this. Now it is starting to look like our template and in the next uh, tutorial we will be using the page header, uh, the article headers properties and article footer properties to make our page like this. So see you in the next tutorial guys and girls. Take care. Bye bye.